welcome to the replay. Hey, hey, Melissa Garcia, Nikki Morris, and Doreen. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Hey, hey. Whoops, we don't need that to be loud. Hey, how? How are you guys? Hello, hello. Hi, Kim Stanton. Hi, Gabriella. Hi, Shannon Tinsley. You got your kit. Whoop, whoop. Yay, girl. Hi, Ranza. How are you? Hello, hello. Sorry if I didn't catch everybody. I missed the, the first line literally says Nikki and Doreen and three other people are watching. But yet there's 19 people. So I apologize if I'm missing some people. I'm so sorry. Um... I'm super pumped to have you guys join me tonight. Um, I love the project that I'm going to do tonight. I think it's going to be super cute. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to just get going. I'm a little late tonight. Had some issues. Um, oh, Gabriella, I'm addicted to that show. I don't watch TV during the week because I frankly just don't have time. There is one thing that I tape on Wednesday nights. And as soon as I am done, everything I need to do, I watch The Masked Singer. I fast forward through the commercials. I love it. Hi, Renee. Hi, Carol Moore Anderson. Hey, girl. How you doing, Allie? I'll see you in, what, two weeks? I can't wait. Hi, Cindy Sturman. As you guys are coming in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is that share button. I would love it if you guys would click share. Um, today has been, I feel like I have been running nonstop. Finally got my nails done. Yay. Yeah, needed to get them updated. Hi, Debbie Green. Um, I've been trying to go to the nail salon for four days, so, um, I'm glad that I finally got to squeeze that in. Uh, let me tell you, um, this has zero to do with chalking except that you guys get to see my fingers. I tried the gel nail polish or the powder nail polish. Can I tell you, I was in and out of the salon getting a full set, not even a refill. I yanked them all off because they were just overgrown. Two were off. Uh-uh. Um, 45 minutes, start to finish. Powder coating for the, um, like, the over part of the, the fake nail. Powder dip for that powder dip nail polish. And then the top coat. 45 minutes. That's unheard of. If you guys get your nails done, who can throw some hearts up if you agree that 45 minutes is fantastic? <coughs> hi Jack and now how you doing girl <coughs> hi Jojo hi Joyce oh I'm joking I'm so sorry hi Norma hi Tammy hi Cindy oh hi Shelly hi Nicole hello Nicole Bennett I'll be seeing you in two weeks too can't wait girl hi Karen Cardillo powder dip nails yes Allie you are talented like that I am not <laughs> I would make a mess everywhere. That powder dip is the equivalent of almost like glitter for me. That would end up everywhere in my house. Hi, Betty. Hi, Alicia. Hi. Dip manicures are the best. Yeah, these are so, it's so brand new to me. Like, I did the dip for the, the powder itself, not for the nail polish, though. So I wanted a matte white and then the shiny um, ring finger. And I liked it. It's glittery for Valentine's Day. Super fun. Hi, Betty Keely. How's that kid doing, girlfriend? Not much, Shelly. Not much. Hi, Kim Iliano. So 
I think I have yapped more than enough, but I just wanted to tell everybody, I thought that was really cool. Um, and guess what? It was the same price as what I would normally pay. And it was like 45 minutes faster. So I'm pumped. I needed that extra time in my day today because Lord knows I haven't had time to do a thing. Oh, it kills my nails, Angie. Darn it. Of course. It's that give and take. Darn it. All right. Well, enough about nails. Let's talk chalk because I'm one crazy late tonight. So let's talk about some chalk couture. So if you've never watched me live, here's a little something you need to know about chalk couture while I get ready on the back end. Um, this is just some little things that we are going to discuss. Um, and we're going to do tonight. Um, chalk couture is awesome, guys. That, that's, that's all you need to know. It is awesome. Um, I am just getting some colors together here um, that I want to use. Do, 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 do. Trying to think of what colors to use for this. I feel like a fawn would be pretty. All right, let's go back. That should have been enough time for you guys to read. So we are going to do, ooh, you know what? No, maybe kiwi oh these are some pretty colors y'all so um i'm thinking i'm gonna do this on the 15 by 23 hanging batter we did just get a new hanging batter size i believe it's 21 by 29 i could be wrong it's big enough to do the size e transfers um, which is crazy cool. I am very pumped about that because there are some of the bigger transfers I wanted to put on a banner, but we couldn't do that. So the hanging banner comes nicely wrapped up, super cute. It comes with this twine to, um, tie on to the banner to hang and it's got the magnetic closures and the fabric. It's perfect. So, um, Here's the wood pieces that you'll put together. They're magnetic to hold everything at the top and the bottom. And guys, banners are crazy on trend right now. Have you seen a lot? This is These are potent magnets. Watch this. Ouch. Um, they're really legit. And this, this hole is for putting your twine through. So we'll do that in a little bit. We'll do that at the end when we're almost done. Hi, Dina. Hi, Lori. Hi, Janice. Hello, hello. Hi, Barb Dunn. Um... Oh, the dip is better for my nails. Yeah, yeah, Allie. Howdy, Kim. You shellac your natural nails, Alicia. Well, you know what? I'm a nail biter. I don't have nails. Oh, I stink. I know. From bad storms and way too much rain for the past two days. Flooding, so losing internet. Oh, no. Okay, Jojo. I'll hope everything is okay. I bet you can't wait to plate Patty. Um, hi, Dina. Hi, Don Marie. You love. Thank you, Barb. Hi, Katie. How you doing, girlfriend? Uh, Katie's having a great time playing too. Hi, Debbie Birmingham. Hi, Megan Wilson. Great last name, Megan. So, um, let's go ahead and let's chalk y'all. I'm ready to chalk. It's been a long day and chalking is my therapy. I literally needed to calm down at night. I do. Um, which is awesome. And a cup of coffee and some chalking and I am a happy girl. So let's do this first to get this out of the way. Um, and we're going to spread this up here. So this transfer is not as big as the hanging banner, which is perfect. Um, I'm thinking I might even add some ribbon to this, like fun ribbon. If I can find some strawberry ribbon, oh boy, I'm going to add it to the bottom of this. So I'm going to leave room. And then yeah. even if I don't, whoops, sorry, don't mind the household. Yes. The Flyers just won their, what's it, eighth win or ninth win? Nine. Ninth win in a row. So hubby and Bubba are going crazy in the background. Sorry about that, guys. It was an overtime game. So um, we're going to put this right about here. We'll leave room for the holders at the bottom and then maybe for some fun ribbon. So let's get started. So first things first, let's take our transfer out of the packaging. Okay. I save my packaging. I get people that ask me that all the time. Do you save it? I abs I don't. I don't know what you just said, but okay. Um, so I always save my packaging. Um, hi, Debbie. Uh, and I put the transfer back in it. So some people ask, do I do that? Yes. Uh, or do I get rid of it? I don't get rid of it. I save it. So because as you read, our transfers are reusable over and over and over again. Oh, good. Patty, you got your chalk box. That's awesome. Um, because these are reusable over and over and over again, we want to make sure that we notate the back of our transfer what it is, whether we say back, 
we say what the transfer is, whatever you want to do, just a way to notate the back of the transfer so that way when we're all done and we clean our transfer and we let it dry and we put it back onto the carrier sheet, we're doing it the right way. Biggest thing we have to worry about. So I am going to now pull the carrier sheet from my transfer. Our transfers are a silk screen material. Material being the key word here, which means materials can stretch, materials can rip, materials can be distorted. If you pull the carrier sheet off the transfer, there is less likely of a chance of that happening. And especially because it's a bigger transfer, we don't want it to fold back on itself. Now, if it does fold onto itself, number one, first thing you need to know, do not pull it apart. Do not panic. Quickly throw it in a vat of water. Let it sit in the water for a little bit and gently work it apart. Might take some time, but it'll come apart. So don't panic. My very first one that I did was my very first live, or no, 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 it was my maybe second or third live. It was my first big transfer I used and that thing sucked right onto itself. And I was sad. So um, you don't want to do that. Don't rip it apart because that was my first instinct was, oh my gosh, I got to pull it apart. Don't do it. So. Um, because I'm putting this on the canvas material, I am not even going to fuzz this up. I want to make sure that this sticks down onto my material. Now, I just want to make sure that I get it where I want it to be. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Should I have ironed this banner first? That is probably going to be a heavy yes. I probably should have. Am I going to? Probably not. Um, I don't feel like waiting for that heat press. I mean, like, it takes really long. It really doesn't take long. I just... I need, I need some chalk therapy and I need it now. So I am not going to do that. The only thing I am going to worry about is trying to line it up as straight as possible. Um, I did not do a very good job of, of getting it down. And because it is nice and sticky, it is kind of not cooperating with me. But that is also probably because I'm live, which is when that happens most often. There it goes. We're going to line up the one side first, make sure that's straight, then we will line up after we do that. Okay. <coughs> that looks much better. All right, now. <coughs> Hi, Donna Scott Noki. Am I saying that right? Uh, how are you doing? Hi, Victoria. Hi, Anne. Hi, Diane. Hi, Tony. How are you guys? So let's come in here and we're going to take our big four inch handled squeegee and we're going to start in the middle and we're going to pull first to the right, then to the left. And we want to make sure that it is down really, really well, especially because I did not iron it. Okay. I'm going to make sure I get all those bumps out. I don't want to hear that noise when I'm pulling chalk across because that is not going to be good. Okay, that means we'll have a bump or a bubble in our silk screen and it could likely bleed. Does that mean that it happens all the time? No, but usually when you're working with uh, fabric, you don't want that to happen. Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you. I am not using ink on this. Because, well, didn't I just do an ink project? Should I do ink? I have all the ink colors. We could do that. We could probably do ink with this tonight. Do you guys want this to be ink? Mm, I don't know that I'm feeling ink. I'm really not feeling ink, so let's not do ink, okay? Um, let's instead... Um, yeah, no, let's stick with, let's stick with chalk paste. Are you guys okay with that? I'm, I'm sure you are, right? Um, I feel like we are. I feel like we're all on the same page here. Okay, so the colors I'm choosing to use tonight are gonna be <clears throat> Kiwi, Bumblebee, Couture Coral, and Wildberry. Oh, gosh, everybody's saying ink. Yay, Tara Lynn. Hi, Loretta. How are you? Hi, Jess. Hi, Kelsey. Does this chalk wash out of fabric? It does, but you know what? I'm not hanging it outside. I'm not going to throw it in the washer. It's just going to be hanging decor. 
All right, so everybody is saying ink. Okay, do I have wild berry ink? I don't think we make wild berry ink. So let's think of another color ink. Maybe we'll just have to go with current jam. Current jam we have now. So we'll go current jam ink instead of that. Okay, okay, we'll go ink. Everybody is saying ink. We'll go ink. I will do that. Let's get my chalk paste away. Okay, so we want to go kiwi. We want to go kiwi, currant jam, bumblebee. That's papaya. That is not papaya. That's curry. Where's my bumblebee? Here's, oh, right here. Is there bumblebee ink? Hold on. There it is, bumblebee. And we need red or couture coral. Right? I think those are the colors I said we would do. And I'm going to get out red just to be safe. Did I not have a big red? I thought I bought a big red. Maybe because I still have plenty of little red. Hi, Jana. Hi, Debbie. How are you guys? Hi, Jen Jones. Oh, okay. I have three for ink, three for chalk. Lunch soon, please? Yes. Yes, Jess. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. I need someone to come in. Let's break the tie between chalk and ink. We've got three for chalk, three for ink. Got to break the tie here, y'all. What are we going to do? I can pull them all out equally. Hi, Alice. Hi, Linda. What do we want to do? Ink or chalk? I see a lot of people that are saying chalk, please. Chalk, chalk, chalk. Ink, ink, please. You guys break it. Break the tie. Ink. Okay, ink it is. Tie is broken. Watch the next person come in with paint. Oh, my gosh. Okay, ink and chalk came in at the same time. Okay, I'm seeing chalk. I see more chalk than ink. Hi, Mary Spinelli. So chalk it is. Okay, it's chalk. Yay, I kind of wanted to do chalk anyway. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, let me move the ink out of the way so I don't inadvertently use it. So then guess what? I am going to use wild berry over current jam. I am going to use kiwi. Where is my, where's my wild berry? There we go. Yes, 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 yes. I think chalk would be fun too. Hi, Vicky Hunter. Hi, Jana. Hi, hi, Erica. Okay, so Erica, um, we, oh my gosh, you guys are so funny. Okay, so Ink is permanent once you heat set it with an iron. You could do it with either a regular old-fashioned iron on a cotton setting for four minutes on each side, or you can use a heat press and do it on 330 for 30 seconds on each side. So you could mix chalk and ink, Tara, but it gets to be hairy when you're doing certain things. Um... Yeah, exactly, as Jess said. And then with the chalk, chalk you can put on and it can be sprayed right off with water. You just use your little water bottle and you can spray it right off of most surfaces. Chalkboards, uh, metal, tin, dry erase boards, mirrors, glass, um, dining room wall. Uh, it did come off. It took some elbow grease, but it came off. Burlap canvas and wood you can put it on as well it just doesn't come off as well um you can still see a lot of shadowing and some different color so um yeah so that is going to be that's what i'm going to say about that yeah i love this one too patty it's super cute um norma i can't remember if i said hello to you so i'm gonna say hi to you again hi donna how you doing girlfriend okay so i'll be talking to you tomorrow at 10 a.m all right so we're gonna go with we're gonna go with chalk because that wound up winning the tie. Um, I saw more chalk come in at that time. So what I'm going to do is I'm making sure, like I said, that this is down really well. I definitely see some spots. If you are going to use one of the hanging banners, guys, don't be, don't do what I do. Please iron it first. I'm just being lazy. I'm, I'm too tired to pull out the iron. So um, I'm going to do... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the top and work my way to the bottom and I'll do chalk and peel. Now, the only good thing is with ink, you have more leeway to move around. The chalk paste will dry rather quickly in your transfer if you're not moving fast enough. And when you go to remove the transfer, the chalk paste is going to stay in there and you're going to pull the design up. Ink, you have a longer time to like kind of mess around. And then when you pull the transfer up, the ink is left to be sitting either on the fabric or kind of already soaked into it. So the design is there. Um, it does. It, Renee, it, it will stain the fabric. Fabric is not something that it will necessarily come fully out of. It will still stain it. Um, 
So I, I wouldn't use chalk on fabric. I don't plan to put this outside. I don't plan to wash this. It's literally going to just be a hanging decor piece. Will not be near anything wet. So that's why I'm going to, I'm okay with using chalk. Um, so I'm going to start at the top. I think what'll be super cute is if I do, um, the little squiggles and the outside in the, um, the kiwi. I think what I will do is I will do strawberry jam probably in the, hmm, will I do it in couture coral? No, no, you know what? I'm going to do the strawberry jam and the little strawberries. I, and even this thing, I think I'm going to do in wild berry. I'll do the lemons over here, um, in bumblebee. I'll probably even do some of the flowers in bumblebee and I will think about the rest of the words as I as they come along to me. I think that's what we're going to do. How's that sound, guys? So let's start chalking. I've been talking for so long. All right. So, hi, Kelly Miller. How are you? Oh, thank you, Janine. You're so cute. And actually, it's kind of funny because it really shows a lot of cleavage. Um, I got it from Old Navy. I did get it. Um, gosh. Probably like September. And it's really cute because it's flowy and it's got like kind of puffy sleeves, if you will. So um, it's actually really fun and flowy and all. Um, I do really love it. Thank you for saying that. Um, they do have some other really cute colors in Buffalo Plaid, which I really like. Uh, so that's fun. All right, I'm just adding a spritz of water to my kiwi. I want it to be a really nice yogurt-like consistency. Can you check that out? And we're going to do the same thing with the other color. Tove, how are you doing, Tove? Have you been thinking any more on this, Miss Thing? Um, what did I do with my stirry sticks? Stirry sticks, where would you have gone? There they are. I'm waiting for my order. Chocolate Tour finally got their own branded stirring sticks. So I'm super pumped about that. I cannot wait for them to come in the mail. My order shipped today from our launch. On Monday, I got a rather large order. It weighs 21 pounds. Yikes, it's more than a newborn. Um, this is a nice yogurt-like consistency, too. Hi, Tobe. You've been inking a lot lately, Kat. You didn't get, love your new nails. Thank you, Danielle. They, I went and did them today. Oh, I don't get my puffy sleeves in the paste. You're absolutely right. I promise I will not. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm so pumped to do this. Let's get everything moved to the side. We'll get our lids over there. Okay, so what did I say I was going to do now? I already forgot. Oh, the little squigglies in the lime green and the words strawberry and jam and wild berry. I know that for sure. I think, I don't know how well white's going to show up on this board, on this um, banner, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We could, we could try some white actually for the little cup. Oh, no. You know what will look really good? I bet. What do you think about the gold? Oh, no, that won't look good. We're not going to do gold. I lied. I lied. Pretend. Abort, abort, abort. How about some fresh linen instead? Fresh linen. I know I have an open jar of you. Where are you at? Tons of bright white. What is that all about? Storm. Fresh, there we go. Let's say I knew I had to open fresh linen. Fresh linen will probably look better. Okay, I'm ready. Let's chalk. All right, so let's go ahead with the lime green. Okay, and as you guys are coming in, bottom left hand side of your mobile device is that share button. Go ahead and hit that share button for me if you don't mind. All right, so let's just get let's just get moving. Let's get moving and shaking here. Probably should have. Already I'm starting off strong. Probably should have used a bigger squeegee. But that's okay. I was a little concerned around the words. Okay. Now, do not be crazy messy like I am. Take your time, especially towards the edge of the transfer. We do not want it to go over the chalk paste, over onto the banner and make a mess. Okay. Gonna try to get this up, 
and we'll peel back. Now this might take a little bit longer because I am going to be using multiple colors, but I'm really okay with that. I'm not going to lie. Totally fine with it taking a little longer as long as it gives me the results I want. How's that sound? Trying to make sure that I'm cautious of my line at the bottom that I have. Don't want to get the wild berry into it. I'm moving uber slow for some reason. Why? Not 100% sure. Sometimes that just happens, like with me, like where, like, I, as hard as I try, I just cannot seem to pick up my pace. And I just need to finish off over here and we're going to peel back. Oh, I went a little bit into the squiggles. It's okay. Okay. Okay, let's peel back because we don't want it to peel off in the transfer itself. I literally, I was going to say, I literally just saw a spot I missed. Okay. Oh, that looks good so far. I do see it looks like this stride a little bit right here on my A and a little bit right there. It's okay. I was able to get it to go back through. Yay. Okay. So we've got it started. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry this really quickly. Okay. Hi, Eliana. Thank you, Tammy. Hey, Liz, how are you? <gasps> Don't fall. Okay, hold on. You gotta move the water bottle out of the way. Beat it, water bottle. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and just lightly let that drop. And I'm going to make sure that I work out any and all bumps right there. I'm going to come back in. And we're going to keep on keeping on. Okay, it's totally dry there. So let's just make sure. Hold on. Because I'm going to be keeping these open for a little bit. I want to make sure that they're nice and, dare I say the word, I'm not going to. But you know what word I'm talking about. I'm not going to say that word. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so let's get this ready. All right, let's keep on going. Okay, let's keep on doing this. Sorry, I know I'm like all of a sudden I got crazy quiet and it's you know why? Because I was concentrating. Sometimes that happens to me as well. When I have to concentrate, I get crazy quiet and I'm like laser focused. And my tongue sometimes comes out. <laughs> okay, loving it. Love, love, love. Okay. 
Okay. Hopefully I'm moving quick enough so that way my kiwi is not drying more than anything. Oh, why am I fighting this? I can use our multi-tool for this part. It's perfect. And what I could even do is come in here and get these leaves done while I'm at it. Okay. See how we're cooking. Hopefully we didn't dry. Look how good it looks so far. I love it. Okay, like I said, I'm moving a little slow, but look how good we're looking. We are looking fine. Look at this. Now, you're going to want to make sure that you're holding your heat source away, 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 away from the transfer. If it goes by the transfer, there is a very good chance that you will shrink your transfer. We don't want that to happen, guys. We don't want it to happen. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in right here, and I'm going to use some couture coral for the beautiful flowers that are right there. Where's my stirry sticks? Right here in front of my face. I have a lot of couture coral that went on to the lid of this. Probably not the smartest idea that I've had to do this over the banner, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> not a bright box moment, guys. Sometimes I don't have them. <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab out another multi-tool. And use it for the flowers. Oh, I've got, already got green kiwi on my white nails. Oh, goofball. Okay, ready, set, go. I love, love, love the fact that we can get the fine detail with our multi-tool. It's so good. It really is, guys. I'm able to go and not worry about hitting my kiwi, which is awesome sauce. Okay, let's come back in. Pick it up. Look at those beautiful flowers. Look how pretty they turned out. Thank you, Donna. No worries, Kat, no worries. Oh, thanks, Jen. Hi, Shannon Richards. Hi, Judy Bell. Hi, Shanna. Hey, Cal, miss your face. So late to this party, but glad. Oh, you really haven't missed a ton at all, Jen. I literally just got going. Hi, Liz Gilbert. Thank you so much. And as you guys are coming in, be sure to share. Sharing is caring. All right. So do you guys think that I should continue on the strawberry jam for the words? What do we think? And then maybe for these fun little dots, we can do, um, we could do, I'm not really sure. Actually, I'm not really sure. Maybe because we're only going to have the lemon, the butter, but, um, bumblebee in the lemons. Maybe these fun little arrows and dots can be bumblebee. And these can, these curly cues and this can all still be the kiwi. And then this is going to be fun. And then the strawberries, I think, should definitely be the current, uh, the wild berry. I think we got it. All right, we got it. So wait, what, what did I say we were going to do the words with? I forgot that quick. What color did I say? I don't know. Hey, Kim Holbrook. Hello, hello. Thank you, Laura Woods. Okay, so you know what? We're going to move on this side first while I think about this. I don't remember what color I said for the words. Because I know I want to do the strawberries in the wild berry. The strawberries, the bumblebee. All right, let's do the cups and the strawberries really quickly, or the cup rather. We're going to do that in 
Oh no. This color is not looking good. We're really going to have to help bring this back to life. If not, I'm going to have to open my new one, which I have. I'm not worried. I just need a little bit brought back to life. That's all here. I should have just enough to do it. Okay. So let's see. Okay, we should have just enough chalk paste here. Let's see what happens. Actually, you know what? Mm, hopefully it's good enough. Let's see. Might be a little a scotch watery. We'll see though. Okay, we're probably not going to use any more of this, but let's see how our strawberries are going to look. Okay. Strawberries are now covered. Once we have the different colors done, oh, that, oh, the cup ran a little bit, I think. It did. Oh, wait, did, what did it do? Unless maybe it's just supposed to look like that. Or did I totally miss it? I may have totally missed that altogether. That's a good job, Jess. Totally missed it. There it goes. Now the cup looks right. It's a little light, but it's okay. I'm not I'm not upset with it. I do love the detail on the strawberries though. Holy cow. Should go you want me to go back over it in candy apple? I can do that. Let's do that. If that's what you guys think, I will do that. I'm happy to. It's all dry. Um, so let's redo it in candy apple. It should still go through. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let's see what happens. We'll give it a whirl. We will try. I'm always up for trying anything, you guys. You know that. Okay. And it's good because since the... Um, since the... I gotta put that over here. Since the... Oh, look how cool that turned out. I like it. That looks more like a strawberry color. That was a happy little mistake. Look at that. Nice deep strawberries. So now what we can do is finish the words off in the, whatchamacallit, in the wild berry. See, it was a happy little mistake. I am happy. Okay, let's keep on going. So now, let's come on back with our kiwi. We got our little squeegee in there. Let's do this. Let's get this out of the way because it's driving me up a wall. Make sure that this is pushed down really well. Okay, I'm going to do the words really quickly first. Here, up to my little squiggle, which I'll do in my kiwi. Okay. Uh, 
I am loving this color. This is screaming spring to me, guys. Like, seriously. Okay. <gasps> Look how good that looks! Oh, that looks so good! It's going crooked. I'm sorry. I don't know why it's doing that. I have got, like, no room for paste over here. It's okay. Let's move this up. Let's try this. It's looking so good. I wish you guys could see it in person. Oh my God, it totally does not get given justice over on the computer, over the screen. You guys, seriously, it's so cute. So flipping cute all right so we're gonna do our little squeagles squeagles what the heck am i saying okay hold on i'm trying to make it to balance things here and i'm just making a gigantic mess which is pretty much what i do it's like my thing hi stacy pete how are you oh thanks guys hi nancy boyd hi paula myers hello hello Okay, so we're going to keep on going. All right, so let's go to some kiwi. Let's get these lines finished here. Whoa, that was way too much. Holy crap. Hold on. Wow, that was a lot. I did not realize I had that much on there, which is okay. It'll come off. It's just I'm scared to be how I typically am with things because, well, you know, I'm awfully messy. You know, that's how I roll. Okay. Make sure I don't go into the area that I want to do the yellow in. May have taken a little longer to get this done, but guess what? So worth it. Because it looks so good in person. Like, really good, guys. Okay. Okay. Let's peel back. Look how good it's looking. Love, love, love it. Look how cute it is. <coughs> I know, right, Kim? <laughs> Hi, Michelle Karen. Yes, strawberry shortcake. Oh, my goodness. Yes, strawberry shortcake, girl. God, I loved getting my girlfriend, um, my best little girlfriend when I was younger, had all of the strawberry shortcake dolls, and I was always so jealous. I wanted strawberry shortcake so bad. Okay, now we're going to come in. And apparently I decided to not clean the squeegee pretty well. Okay, and now we're going to come in. Oh, that needs to be stirred. What am I doing? And we're going to add our little bumblebee touches. Um, on the dots and the little arrow. Okay, got that mixed up to a nice yogurt-like consistency as well. Make sure this is down really well. Okay. you guys it's looking so flipping cute just 
just going to try to get a little more of the side done. Oh, that yellow. Perfect. Okay, hold on. I'll just pull it down a little bit more, a little extra, just so I can make sure that I'm hitting this with some heat. Hey, look how good it's looking. Check this out. Oh my goodness, I am so in love. Oh, thank God that was already dry. Okay, now I'm going to try to quickly get the rest of this area that is the um, wild berry done along with my sweet little um, flowers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do more of a heavier amount whoops that's way too heavy on my sweet flowers here okay heavier so it stays moist while I move around with the rest of the color okay now I'm gonna load up on my wild berry and we're gonna press on down guys press on down Are you guys able to see where I'm at okay good Whoa. Okay, we're almost done. I am being very adventurous doing that big of a glob of chalk paste there. That was super crazy. Okay, let's get it peeled back. <gasps> Look how good it looks. Oh my gosh, I'm like freaking out over how amazing it is looking. Look at that. It's like perfect. Obsessed. Okay, I'm going to fold this up just a little bit so I can get moving on finishing this part. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do probably the kiwi. Let's finish up with or not finish up but let's get some more kiwi going along the edges here kind of make it be a little bit of a heavier amount
trying to just be a little careful there. What I will likely do is grab another um, another small uh, another multi tool and get the little area that is over here. and really quickly get the word boil. Trying to just be cautious of what is around my word here. So that way, I'm putting it all on my hands at this exact moment in time. Okay, I want to pull down to where I have all my chalk paste. Okay, look at how cute it's looking. Hi, Denise. Hi, Dottie. Hi, Timmy. Oh, Gabby, that's so cute. The strawberry jam is in Wildberry, Alice. Yep, it's in uh, Wildberry. Okay. God, I can't get over how flippin' cute this is turning out. Cannot get over how adorable it is. I mean, I, I really knew it was... It was a cute transfer, so I thought, oh my gosh, it's going to be adorable. But I didn't expect this cute. I'm not going to lie. I'm really not going to lie. Okay, so I think I'm think i going to do these fun little squiggles in the couture coral. I feel like that's what I want to do because I think they're too close to, or maybe not. No, we'll finish it up with the kiwi. We'll finish it up with the kiwi. Why not? Okay, so I have to be cautious, though, because I see Bumblebee here. So let's be very careful how we're going to do this. Okay. Okay, let's do... Don't fall. Let's play that game first. The let's not fall of Jess's crazy concoction that she's got going on over here. Not concoction. What's the word I'm looking for? My setup. Okay. I'm going to go a little heavier handed with the wild berry so it gives me a little extra time while I get the kiwi and the bumblebee going. Bumblebee. Oh, shoot. I may have rubbed a little into the wild berry. We'll, we'll know really for sure until I pick it up. And tape came with it. Oh, look 
how good that looks. Can you guys see? <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh, I am geeking out. I cannot wait. All I have left to do is the sweet little jam jar. Now I'm going to just try to, because I think this is, this is actually pretty dry. It is, ooh, is it dry? Yeah, it's pretty dry. Okay. So now is this part. I think I'm going to do it in red all up here. And then I'm going to use that um, fresh linen to go around the can. But everything else is going to be the candy apple red. So let's get on this, huh? Oh my gosh, I am so excited to get done, but I don't want to rush. I'm so not rushing this. We are in the last stage of this. I had so much on the lid here. I'm just going to use that. It's because I dumped the, my chalk paste. Hooray for me. close to going over the kiwi and I don't want that to happen. Okay. All right. Please, dear God, don't let my fawn be awful. I just need a, I mean, fresh linen be awful. I just need just enough to finish here. That's all I need. Ah! And I ran it into the red. Darn it! I really ran it into the red here. Well, you know what? We'll just call it a shadow. How's that sound? We'll just call it a shadow. Oh, guess what? That was what it needed. It looks great. Let's zoom out. Let's heat this. Let's get this heated up. Chalking Jen. Yep. Hi, Denise Healy. Hello, hello. Is the flower color one? No, the flower is the um, couture coral. How do you guys like it? Do you love it? Let's see. Can you guys see it all? Let's take the please subscribe and share all for a sec. So that way I can pull it down so you can see everything. How do we like this? Is this not the cutest thing ever? I love it. Oh my God. It turned out so cute. Should we, do, should we zoom in on some pieces? Okay, wait, hold on. Before I get chalk paste all over this, let's close up my jars, huh? Let's get the jars closed up. Okay. Fresh linen, you have to go bye-byes because you are done. <gasps> ah! Well, I'm wearing chalk paste now. That's fun. And of course, of all colors, it's red. Red likes to stain your clothes take it from me great hold on guys i'll show you up close let me just get let me get this out of the way because if it drops on my banner i'm gonna cry i'm just saying okay i'll clean all these when i'm done I'm just going to spray a little bit of water into the bumblebee, the kiwi, and the wild berry because they were getting a little thick because it was taking me a little while to, to get through them. So I'm just going to spray a scotch of water in them. Scotch. I love that word, scotch. Okay. I 
can't believe I dropped. Of all squeegees to drop on myself. Oh, no. Um, maybe I'll do a little bit in the couture coral as well. Okay. <gasps> Thank God that was already dried on chalk paste. Oh, I would have cried. Okay, colors are closed up. This is moved off. Okay, let's come in a little closer to some of them. Check out those strawberries. Look at those fun lemons. Look at my little mason jar at the bottom. The flowers. It turned out so pretty. I love it. Guys, this is the cutest. Hi, Adrian. Thanks, Denise. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Don Marie. Thank you, Randa. Thank you, Shana. Thank you, Dina. <coughs> Thank you, Cindy. I have it in ink. I don't think I've coral chalk yet. Oh, yes, yes. Thanks, Joyce. <coughs> thank you, Alice and Jennifer and Jana and Kat. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let's get what is this. Okay, so this is the bottom piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to just put the bottom like this. It's like not moving for me. There it goes. Okay, sweet little banner bottom. Now let's do the top. And we have the fun twine that ties into this piece. Thank you, Donna. I appreciate that. Okay, got the one end tied. Got the other end we're tying. Sorry, I know I'm off camera. I'm sorry, I don't mean to not be on camera. I love that it's like the chunky um, like twine, I think this is. Drawing a blank. It's starting to get late and I'm starting to get tired. So I can't think of my words. They're evading me at the moment. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is put this one up here like this. Like this. And it's ready to go. It's so cute. I love it. Yay. I know, Lori. Can't wait for you to sign up either. You're going to love this, girl. And I hope you're joining my team. That would be awesome if you are. Okay, so let's come on back to me real quick. So here's my strawberry jam. Whoa, I'm almost knocking all the ink over. I cannot wait to hang this up. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. So flipping cute. So if you guys really enjoyed what you saw tonight and you were not already working with a designer, I would love to be your designer. I would also love for you to join my VIP group. Please no designers, I'm sorry. Um, in, my in my VIP group, I have bundle deals, I have special offers, I have a monthly chalk box subscription, and I literally have over 400 videos. Uh, last night I uploaded my 700th video to YouTube, so I think think about, I'm roughly, I want to say about 10 away from hitting 500 Chalk Couture videos, which is insane. So um, it's super crazy fun, but in my VIP group, they're all there. So if you're interested in joining my VIP group, comment me right down below. If you're interested in joining um, the VIP group, that's all you got to do. If you're interested in purchasing, I just posted my website right in the comments below. It's also right above my head. And if while you were watching, you were like, you know what? 
I could do what that girl does and I could do it better. Uh, I would love to join my enterprise uh, or if you'd love to join my enterprise and become a designer on my team and build your own empire and help add, add income to your family's bills for to help with food shopping and ballet lessons and hockey practice, you can do that. You totally can. All you need to do is comment, join right down below and I'll message you the link to my opportunity group where I have a video that tells you every single thing you need to know about joining the chocolate tour and joining my team. And we'd love to have you. You're so welcome here. So I appreciate you guys watching and sticking in there with me tonight. Penny, you got it, girl. As soon as I hang up, I will make sure I message you the link right on over to my opportunity or to my uh, VIP group. I'd love to have you. Um, I thank you guys for sticking with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed the project. Strawberry jam, couture coral, wildberry, kiwi, candy apple, and bumblebee chalk paste, multi-tools, small squeegees, that's, and uh, stirring tools, stirring sticks. And that's about it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful night and I will talk to you later and I'll be back for another talking uh, episode. Talk to you later. Bye.